All right, today we're going to go over one of the com most common mistakes I see people make when they're rowing, especially, especially for beginners. If you've experience in rowing, you probably won't be making this mistake, but if you're somewhat new to it, check it out. It's going to be useful for you. And again, yeah, it really lets people down. And by changing this, fix, like changing this mistake, fixing this mistake, you can drastically improve your rowing. So with rowing, common cue is drive with the legs. That's correct, we want to drive with the legs to start, but what we don't want to do is drive only with the legs and not be connected with the upper body. So what driving with the legs should look like is I'm here connected, my upper back is tied, I'm all locked in and as I drive with the legs, the chain pulls. Okay, so I'm actually creating distance, generating force, effectively transferring the force. Okay. What tends to happen with beginners is they drive with the legs, but they just shoot the ass back, so it looks like this. Now that's a little bit exaggerated, but... So you see what's happening here is, drive with the legs, but the upper body isn't connected, so the ass goes back. And then I'm left finishing it by just pulling with the back. That tends to happen a lot with beginners that are listening to only drive with the legs. So how we correct this is we want to make sure that our upper body and our lower body are all connected as one. And we're going to do that by making sure we're tied to the upper back and lats. Okay, so when you grab the handle, just make sure that you pull your shoulder blades back and down, you have some tension in the upper back so you're all connected. And then think as you drive with the legs, you want the chain pulling as well. So that's basically it. You want to drive with the legs, but you don't want to drive with only the legs and not stay connected with the upper body and the back, okay? So make sure you're functioning as just one whole unit, everything's locked in together, and that you're actually getting the benefit of the drive from the legs rather than just shooting up and down the, uh, the seat, okay? So if you find you're making this mistake while you're rowing, work on correcting it, go through, keep in tension through the upper back, starting off, you know, feel, feel the weight that's on the chain, you know, feel that tension, don't just be loose with it, and um, yeah, drive with the legs, keep that locked in, and then finish with the arms. We can take that example and, and you can see it with the deadlift. If people are to deadlift and they don't have good tension throughout the, the whole body, They'll be here, they'll be, yeah, they'll be holding the bar, but they'll be somewhat loose, and then their hips will shoot up, and then they'll just kind of finish it with the back. When you're deadlifting, you want to make sure you're down, solid, tight, squeeze the bar tight, but feel the weight that's in the bar. So you have all the tension locked in, upper back, lats are engaged, and then you lift as one, so the hips are extending as the bar rises. So implement it, see how it goes. If you're making this mistake while you're rowing, uh, try to incorporate just a bit more awareness with the upper body and the back and creating that tension and you'll see your rowing drastically improve. So stop making this mistake and let's see your rowing times get better. Hope you enjoyed guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if it managed to help you with your rowing pace.